everyone, my name is Jenny Antunes and welcome to my channel where I come on here to share with you my passion for all things beauty. So today I'm going to be sharing with you my must-haves, my favorites, my go-tos that I have been using all spring long. I have some skincare, hair care, makeup, I got a little bit of everything. Now without further ado, let's get into it. Now I have a lot of products that I want to share with you today, so I'm going to do my best to make sure that this video is not super long. I will share with you all the products that I am loving and let you know why I'm loving it and try and make it short and simple. So I'm going to start off with hair care. So the first thing is this hair massager. I use this every time I shampoo my hair and I absolutely love it. This helps make sure that I really clean out my scalp from all my hair products that I use. And I have to say, since I've started using this on a regular basis, my hair has been so much healthier. The next product is, as you could probably see, I really do love it because I am almost out. It is the Chi Styling Cream Gel. Oh my God, this is the best gel ever. This is not like a typical gel formula. It is more like it says a cream and when you put it into your hair it makes it super soft and you don't get that hard hair texture. You get like a more natural style. The next product that I have been loving is the Texture Air. It really does give you texture to your hair. So I have naturally a little bit of wave to my hair. But when I apply this, it's even more wavier. So the point of it is to basically give you like that beach wave look, which is totally super cool to wear for spring and summer. Now when it comes to body care in the springtime, what I'm looking for are light formulas and I'm looking for floral. I love the floral scents, especially in the spring and summertime. So for my body spray, I have been loving the Bath & Body Works Country Apple. I had gotten this last summer and I stopped using it for the fall and winter. So I am super happy to start using this again. I love using body sprays more so in the spring and summer rather than perfumes because they are more lightweight. And this just smells so delicious. Oh, I love the scent of apples. So the next one I'm recommending, I actually don't have on hand, only because I have been trying out all the different types that they had in that collection. And that is the Veilment Natural Spa Body Scrub and Cleanser. So the one that I am currently using, and as you can see, I am almost done, it is the Himalaya Pink Salt. But the one I absolutely love out of the whole collection and the one that I'm going to be grabbing once this is done is the rose one. Oh my god, it literally smells like you are rubbing roses all over your body. And it makes your skin feel so soft. It is like a very light exfoliant. Using an exfoliant in the spring and summertime is actually going to help, especially for those of you who use the sunless tanning products. Exfoliating your skin is what's going to help make sure that you apply all those products evenly. And what I do is I use this with this sponge that I actually got from Home Goods. And what it is is it has an exfoliant side. And then on the other side is just like a regular sponge side. And what I love is that it has this right here. So I'm able to like put my hand in it and it holds so I can really scrub my body. And then I can t twist it and then switch it over to the exfoliant side. And my skin has been so smooth and soft since I've added this to my body care routine. Now, with spring coming and warmer weather coming, that means it's sandal season time. I don't know about you, but I love to wear sandals. I am a sandal girl. 
Now, I got the gene in my family where my feet become extremely rough, especially like my heels. They become like sandpaper. So I use Avon's Footworks collection. This is just some of the products that they have in their whole collection um, and the ones that I primarily use. And what I do is once or twice a week, depending on how bad my feet are, I will do a foot soak with the pampering oil. And then I will use the pedicure tool, which comes with basically everything you're gonna need for your pedicure. It has this thing to get all that dry skin off. And then it has the filer. And then you open it. It has the, um, the pumice stone, I think believe they call it. It's basically to help smooth out your skin. And then it has the brush to get wipe away all the dry skin and what you do is you just kind of put it together like this and all the shavings will go in this tool so it's not going to make a mess everywhere and you just you can just pop it open and dump it in your trash and then when you're done you just pop it right back in keep it all I get at least two of these a year that's how much I use this and how bad my feet are and then after I do that, I will add the pumice cream and then the intensive callus cream. And I forgot to grab it from my nightstand. But at night, I will use the overnight intensive cream. I will put it right here for you so you can see what it looks like. And uh, then I put socks over it. And then when I wake up in the morning, my feet are super soft. Help. If you struggle with extremely dry skin or calluses and have really, really rough skin, this routine is, mwah, you're going to love me for it. So last but not least, when it comes to body care is sunless tanning. So as you can probably tell, I am a rather pale girl and I am someone that if I go out into the sun for a any extended period of time, I will burn. Not a nice little rosy burn. No, I will become a lobster burn. So I always have to make sure I have plenty of sunblock on and to tan my skin, I use sunless tanning. Now I've tried a couple of sunless tanning products and I plan on trying out some more this year. But the one that I continually go back to is the Jergens Instant Sun Sunless Tanning Mousse. This is what I have been using all winter long to kind of keep somewhat of a color on me. I am almost done, so I'm probably going to pick up a different one just to try it out. Please let me know in the comments down below what sunless tanner that you love or one that you would like me to try out and test out. I like the mousse one because it's very lightweight. It glides on my skin super smoothly. And what I use is this mitt. Um, I got, it's the B tan one. I believe I got this at Target. It's super soft and it just makes the whole process super easy. Now for my face, what I have been using is the Tan Lux The Face Illuminating Self Tan Drops. I actually got this in my Ulta order. You remember the haul video I did last week? And that little bag that I got of all kinds of goodies? Well, this was one of them. And I am so happy that I tried this out. All I gotta do is add this to my moisturizer. I apply it at night before I go to bed. That way it gives it some time to work. And when I wake up in the morning, I just have this beautiful, evenly distributed, gorgeous, bronzy look to my face. Like, like I just got back from the beach. It is gorgeous. I am so loving it. I highly recommend getting these. I got these at Ulta. These are so good. They come in packs of two. And it makes it so that you can get your sunless tanning lotion or whatever product you're using all over your face evenly. And I love these. Now let's move on to skincare. And I'm going to be honest with you. I really did not pull out too much of my skincare products that I am using this spring and summer. 
because I actually already have a video for you guys where I talk about how you can transition your skincare routine for spring and summer. So if you want a full in-depth recommendations on what to use for your skincare products, then I highly recommend going to check that video out because I go over everything you would need to know, no matter what your skin type is, on how to transition your skincare routine. Now, for those of you who don't know, I do have combination skin. So as we're getting into the summertime and the warmer weathers, I am starting to struggle with an oily T-zone. Right now, my skin is not sure what season it is because lately, the last couple of weeks in Massachusetts, the weather has been bouncing back and forth from spring weather to winter weather. So it's my skin's going all crazy. But there are four products that I really wanted to highlight to you guys that I am loving right now. The first one is the two cleansers that I am using. So the first one is the Tatcha the Deep Cleanse. I believe I got this in an Ipsy glam bag and I am so happy I did because I am in love with this cleanser. This is the first cleanser I use after I remove my makeup and this really is good at cleaning off my skin without drying it. So this is a great way of making sure that my makeup and all that dirt and impurities are out of my skin. And then after that, I go in with the Rice Water Bright Exfoliating Cleanser. I have been really loving this. It is super light exfoliator that it just makes my skin feel so refreshed. I am so happy that I grabbed this. Now, for springtime, I have switched over to more lightweight moisturizers. So what I'm using in the morning is the IT Cosmetics Confidence in a Gel Lotion. It's oil-free, and it's designed to give you 72-hour hydration, which are like the two things that I am looking for in my moisturizer. Now, I do believe this is also available in a cream, so if you prefer a regular cream type of a moisturizer, they do have that available in a cream. For me, I like the lotion because I use this in the morning. And lotion is more of a lighter weight formula than a cream. And at nighttime, I use the Belief, the True Cream Aqua Bomb. This is one of the few skincare products that I actually use all year round in the springtime, summertime, fall, winter. This is a moisturizer that is always in my skincare routine. It's very lightweight. It hydrates my skin and I actually love the smell of it. It's got like a fresh clean scent to it. Now, before I apply makeup, in the last step of my skincare routine is, of course, I'm going to apply SPF protection. So what I use is the Anew Hydra Fusion Daily Beauty Defense with SPF 50. Now I started using this actually a couple years ago when I had cancer and I was undergoing chemotherapy. Now for those of you who don't know, when you are undergoing chemotherapy, your skin is even more sensitive to the sun. So I had to make sure that I had this on my face every day regardless if i was going outside or not i had to make sure this was on because i was going to burn even quicker and even more intensely than i normally do and i have to say the whole time that i was undergoing chemotherapy and me using this i did not burn at all i didn't have any type of skin issues or sun damage or anything and ever since then, I have used this every day. I've actually lost track of how many times I purchased this. And I'm actually about to need to get another one because this one's almost out. Now, not only does it protect my skin, the reason why I love it is because it also helps hydrate my skin. The whole Hydra Fusion collection is designed to moisturize and protect your skin. And that is exactly what this product does. Last but not least, it's makeup. You know, I love my makeup. And these are the products that I have been using almost every single day. I am loving these products for the springtime. And the first thing we're gonna talk about is nails. Now, if you've been following me either on Instagram, on TikTok, or on here, 
you know that I love my Kiss and Press nails, and that is what I'm wearing today. Now, they have actually come out with a new collection, which is what I'm wearing today. This new collection includes pastel colors, and I am in love with them. I've tried out the yellow ones, and as you can see right now, I am wearing the pink ones. Now, if you're someone that likes more of a design on your nails, they also have other ones like this one. This is a new style that I'm gonna be trying out. It is in the style called Friday Night. I can't wait to wear these. I was going to put these on, but I am going to be doing yard work this weekend, so I did not want to get these bad boys dirty. Um, I also got some that are a little bit longer, and they are more of like a French tip style. Like, they have a variety of styles, and you can basically get them Anywhere you could get your KISS products. At your pharmacy like CVS or Walgreens, they have them at Walmart, they have them at Target, they have them at Ulta, like they are everywhere. So they are super easily accessible, they're super affordable, they last. These nails, I usually have to end up taking them off because I just want a new set. And I usually leave them on for at least two weeks, but most of the time they would last longer than that. Now for primers, there are two primers. The first one is the It Your Skin But Better Primer. I love wearing this when I am going to be using a foundation that day. This is oil free and it's makeup gripping and it helps get rid of my pores. So it gives me that flawless looking skin. I love using this, especially in the spring and summertime when I'm starting to sweat more. This helps make my makeup last so much longer. Now the next primer is actually a new addition and this has been something that I'm actually been wearing on days when I'm either wearing just a tinted moisturizer or where I am not wearing any foundation at all. And that is the VDL Lumi Layer Rosy Perfect Primer. This gives you such a beautiful glow from within look on your skin. You can wear this under foundation if you want, but I personally love wearing it either without any foundation or under my tinted moisturizer. Speaking of which, tinted moisturizer is primarily what I have been wearing on my face lately. Now I am actually working on doing a top five uh, tinted moisturizer list for you. So I'm actually not going to share with you what tinted moisturizers that I have been loving the most. You'll just have to keep an eye out for that video. I will be sharing it here on my YouTube through uh, one of my shorts video. And I also will have it on my TikTok and Instagram page. So you'll be able to find it on one of those. Now on days like today where I need a little bit more coverage because I'm having some breakout issues from the other day when I did the makeup tutorial using products that I regret purchasing. Yeah, still dealing with the breakouts from that. So on these days, I've actually been loving two new products that have come out recently. The first one is the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. I don't know what it is, but this is like the first and only CC cream that I have seen that has given me the coverage that this gives. I am just totally in shock. Now on top of that, it has collagen, peptides, and niacinamide, which are all great ingredients for your skin. And it has SPF 30. So that is one of the reasons why I am loving this. The only issue I will say that I have been having with this product is it gets super messy. It like drips when you pour it out onto your hand or even onto your skin and it just kind of, but there is another cap that you can just put on it. So it's not that big of an issue. Now the other product I have been loving where it gives me a little bit more coverage is the new Urban Decay Stay Naked Hydromaniac Tinted Glow Hydrator and it gives coverage up to 24 hours and what I love about it is that it is hydrating but it's not in a way where it's going to interfere with my oily t-zone. It gives 
my skin such a beautiful natural glow and the coverage is amazing now this is not a full coverage foundation this is medium coverage so next are setting sprays and the two setting sprays that i have been loving is the milani make it last and the catrice hd active performance freezing spray I have been loving these because they really make sure that my makeup is staying in place regardless of how much I am sweating or my oily t-zone is acting up and with my skin still struggling with dryness I you know sometimes my makeup will break apart on my dry areas and this helps make sure that it doesn't they both have a very fine mist and spray out beautifully and evenly onto the skin on top of that they are affordable can't beat that so the last thing i'm going to go over are palettes the first palette i'm going to talk about is the urban decay stay naked threesome palette so these include a bronzer a highlighter and a blush i had actually grabbed this for my full face of urban decay products the same thing with the foundation ever since i taped that video i have been using these two products I would have to say at least a couple times a week. I'm actually wearing all three of these today and I am loving it. I think this is perfect for springtime. They do have other options. I'll actually put it right here for you so you can see the different options they have. They glide on so smoothly. They don't accentuate my pores. It makes it so easy to apply my everyday makeup. Uh, I basically have all of my face products all in one palette. So it's just boom, 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 and then I'm done. I love that. Now the last three products I'm going to talk about today are eyeshadow palettes. The first one I'm going to talk about is the Zoeva The Basic Moment palette. I love using this. This is one of my eyeshadow palettes that I love wearing on an everyday basis. It's a cool tone eyeshadow palette and it's just basic neutrals. The shimmers glide on the lids so smoothly and the mattes are easy to blend. And what I love about it is that the mattes, you can build them up depending on how intense you want it. If you want just a wash of, of color, then you can get that with these mattes. Or if you want a more dramatic pop, you can also get that with these mattes. I think this is just a perfect everyday spring summer palette. And another palette that I think is a great everyday spring summer palette is the Mono Pop Eyeshadow Palette. This is the palette that I used in my full face of Avon makeup. I love it because it has browns, pinks, and oranges. And I like to actually mix all the shades together into what I look. And they, look, they just blend out so beautifully together. I love using this palette on my everyday looks where I'm wanting to feel a little bit more girly or a little more dressed up. And last but not least, it is the ColourPop Limoncello palette. I'm sorry if I mispronounced it. Look at it. Does that just not scream spring? It's spring. <laughs> I am so loving this. Now, as I said in my haul video, I am going to be doing an Allie Glines look using this palette. So make sure to keep an eye out for it because it's coming. Well, that is all I got for you today. Those are all of my spring must-haves my spring favorites now i would love to hear what you are loving for spring whether it's body care skin care makeup whatever it is i would love to hear what your favorites are let us know what you are loving in the comments down below and while you're down there if you enjoyed this video you can let me know by clicking that like button and if you have not done so, I welcome you to join me here on my channel by clicking that subscribe button and notification bell down below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Until next time, remember, be kind to yourself and to others. Bye!